Here's a worksheet we did in class about rotating axes uh, for our force diagram. Uh, a box on a ramp. Uh, we would draw force diagram, normal force up, gravitational force down. Now the normal force actually is perpendicular to the surface, so it goes off at an angle. Gravitational force is straight down, friction force parallel to the surface, holding it in place. Um, the normal force and the friction force do not fall on the xy axis, so we'd have to figure out their components so that we could combine them with other forces on the xy axis to calculate net force. If we rotate the axis, in this case uh, clockwise 20 degrees, then the y axis will fall on top of the normal, the x axis uh, on top of the friction. Now the gravitational force will be off axis but it's only one and calculating the components for that is easier than if it were two so that's what we do and uh, you have to get used to doing that here's an example here's a another example with a steeper ramp so you see there's a, a bigger angle sweeped out by the gravitational force but the normal and the friction force are on the axis and then one more uh, example the ramps at a different orientation and there's a small angle of 10 degrees swept out on the other side of the axis there was a counterclockwise rotation in this case